Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today I'm doing another pullover macro recorder uh, creator just because I've done two other ones and they are super popular. Obviously, it's just simple coding, you don't really have to fully understand code to make a macro work. Um, so, I'm going to do one about automating video games or maybe you just learn something that you could use elsewhere today we're going to be using minecraft as our example and so yeah let's jump right into it so i already got pullovers macro recorder up and running obviously i haven't done anything so we should probably do that so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want this program to only work in minecraft you know, we don't want to accidentally hit something and have it do, you know, whatever or whatnot. Um, there is some stuff I'm not going to show you, like hotkeys. I did a video on that. Watch my previous macro recorders uh, if you want to make it a little bit more fancy, whatever. Um, but we're just going to have a, just a normal script here. Uh, very simple, but you can get fancier if you want. Watch out those videos. So with it only running, we're going to go here where you have the little red box, the two lines. This is going to be our if statements. Let me get into the program there. And if you hover over it, it says F statements, or you can press the hotkey on your keyboard, F10. And so, yeah. By default, it does have if window active. That's exactly what we want. And we're going to just call it Minecraft, because that is what the Windows name is called when it's up and running. If you want to be able to get it, you can do something like let's open Notepad here other screen you can open notepad click these little three dots here at the end and you're it's going to minimize pullover automatically and you get this little uh tooltip thing that kind of follows you around so we're going to hover over notepad and as you can see it got right there when title untitled dot notepad the class is notepad the process name is notepad.exe you know, you got a lot of stuff there that you can work with, uh, the PID, um, but we're just going to keep it simple with win title because it's just always called Minecraft, so we're fine with that. Um, and then once you're done, you can right click and it'll automatically close that, pull everything back up to where you were. Um, and as you can see, it did grab it um, automatically for you, which is great, um, but once again, we're going to change it to Minecraft. You can add an else. We have no reason for that at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to push OK. There we go. Now, in what I'm doing here with Minecraft is basically a auto miner um, where it's going to break a block in creative mode, move forward, break a block, move forward, break a, break a block, and et cetera, et cetera. I think you get the idea. Uh, but obviously, you can change the hub send commands to whatever you want and what you see what we're doing so we want this to go off um every so often so what we're going to do is we're going to do a timer so the timer is the little green clock here called set timer click that what do we want to call it um we'll just call it uh collecting um so that's going to be the name of our label so it's going to be called collecting and you can change this to milliseconds seconds minutes in auto hotkeys by default everything is in milliseconds so just to keep true to that we're going to use 5000 milliseconds which is five seconds um options this is you know play once play every x milliseconds turn on turn off delete you know, there's a lot of different things there. Uh, we're going to push OK. Oh, target label does not exist yet. OK, then. Fine, we'll just use that one. Why not? So this we want inside um, the um, thing up there. But you see how it does macro 1? I want to show this uh, out. It's showing this tab here. We don't want the whole script running. We only want like that one uh, specific thing running. So what we need to do is we need to create a label. So we're going to do that once I can find it. We'll go to label, add label. Uh, what did we call it again? Uh, collecting. And we're going to say OK. 
So there. Now we got our label. So now we can go back here. And as we see, it actually exists now. Um, so I'm glad I forgot to do that in that order, just so I can show you why something might not work properly. Now, as you see, as we go through, it is adding it in the order that we're doing it, but we don't want it like this. So it's very simple. It's just drag and drop. So this is our uh, run. We're going to put it in here between the if window active. So now if window active, Minecraft, run once, collecting. Once again, I said, you know, you can play with this and stuff, you know, play every X amount of seconds, that kind of stuff. Uh, if we do want to actually see the code, we can push refresh right here. And we can actually now see what we've done so far. So this is really cool. And this is what you could copy and paste and put into an X, uh, AHK file or executable, or you can save as right here. Um, that way you don't always have to use pullover and macro recorder. We also up here have the play button, which we'll be taking a look at soon. All right, so every 5,000 5, milliseconds, it's going to jump to here. Well, what actions do we want to perform? So the first thing I want to do is I want to do a click. So we're going to click the little mouse here. Um, we're just going to do a click because all I'm doing is a left click. I only want it to do it once because we're in creative. So it's only going to you know click because it's going to be an auto break. Now, if you're playing in um, non-creative, well, I can't think of what that's called. Um, you're going to want to maybe have it repeat a certain amount of times to make sure the block breaks. Depending on the resource, you know, dirt breaks faster than diamonds. So depending on what you're doing, you're, you're going to have to play with these numbers. Uh, that's something I can't tell you the answer to. It's just something you guys have to play with, test, and then up seeing what's going to be working best for you. Um, so yeah, we're going to do uh, just that. Boom. It's only going to do it once. We're going to push OK, refresh our code, and there you go. Click left mouse button only once. It is going to sleep for 10 milliseconds. That's fine. Um, can't really go lower than 10 milliseconds because uh, Windows 10 OS cannot recognize anything under 10 millisecond um, key presses. Just random information to throw out there to you. Next, we want to send the W key so we can we break the block. We well, we want to move forward to get the next block. So let's take a look at doing a send command right now. Now, to do that, we're going to click on this little blue box with the T in it. Uh, that stands for text. As you see, it says text. Um, but this is in the actual coding. It's a send command. So normally, if we just wanted to send W... We could just do W and say, okay, great. But we actually want to hold the W down for about a second just to make sure we move all the way up to the next block. And in order to do that, we're going to need to use a curly bracket. So we're going to do W space down and then close it off with another curly bracket just like that. Uh, lots of options here if you want to repeat stuff, have delays, all that kind of stuff. We do want to actually have a delay here. We're going to do one second, which is a thousand milliseconds. Um, just keep it all like that. Uh, we're just doing plain text, you know, uh, all that kind of good stuff. Um, yeah, so we are going to do OK. Refresh our code. And now you see we got, you know, send W down. Actually, I just realized we do not want to do send raw. Um, so sorry about that. Let me fix that. All right. How do we set that? It's been a while since I've done this. There we go. All right. So now it says send W down. That's actually what we want. Um, so all I did was to uh, click the text with commands. Um, so just make sure you do pick that. That's something you definitely want. All right. So there we go. Now we have our sin W down. It's going to sleep for one second or a thousand milliseconds. Well, now we need to release that W. So in order to do that, what we're going to want to do is the exact same thing. Go back in here, curly brackets, W space, but instead of down, we're going to say up and that's going to release it once again make sure we text with commands as our option press ok let's refresh our code and boom this is it very easy very simple you can run it from here 
or you can run it um, as an actual .ahk video. Check out my intro video where I teach you how to actually down, download AHK, make your first script, shows you how to save everything like that. If you're also new to learning auto hotkeys and you want just a faster way to find information out there, my videos, other people's videos, or just read the documentation in general, in the description below, make sure to check out my auto hotkey Chrome extension. It doesn't work just on Chrome, but also like Edge, Bravo, uh, or Brave, um, a whole bunch of browsers out there if they're Chrome based. So definitely check that out. It's a free tool. It's very helpful for people who are just starting out. But yeah, this is our code. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video real quick, and I'm going to launch Minecraft, and we'll see this in action. Give me one minute. One second for you, though. Alrighty. So, we got Minecraft open. You'll see it in a second. It is hidden behind this window. But, <clears throat> because we have this Win Active uh, Minecraft, if I push play right now, it's not going to do anything because it's not active. So, I need to be able to have the script start after I activate it. Um, so we can just do this one right here instead of playing play, we'll do the timer. Um, so we'll say three 3,000 milliseconds, which is three seconds, that's fine. We're gonna push okay, and that basically says don't start the script for another three seconds, that way if I need to set something up real quick, we're good. Three seconds is fine. Um, and just to be safe, let's make it five seconds, 5,000 milliseconds. So we're gonna press okay, jump to Minecraft, get back to where we want, so I'm going to put my hands up, up, oh, and there it goes. It just started. So as you see, it did the left click. It's waiting five seconds. It's moving me forward. You know, it's just auto mining. Like I said, you're going to want to play around with the timing. You know, I did five seconds just so you guys can see kind of everything that's going on. Um, but in reality, you probably want this to go faster. So that five seconds could be one second. It could be... I don't know, 200 milliseconds, so you can just fly through this. Um, so yeah, just adjust, play with the times, get it to adjust it to how you want it to work, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, now I can just, uh, we can push control or alt uh, tab to switch out, jump back over to pullovers, and uh, it won't really do anything because the uh, Minecraft's not there. But yeah. If you guys have any questions about this, uh, want me to dive even farther into Pullover's Macro Recorder, just let me know what kind of things you're trying to automate, um, just so I have an idea. And I'll be happy to do another one since these are so popular. And as always, hit the subscribe button, throwing usually one, two, sometimes three videos at you every week having to do with automation. I will see you all on the next one.